Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and the Washington Commanders are going absolutely crazy today. They just signed Jeremy Chin to a one year around $5.2 million deal. Adam Peters is cooking and he is completely overhauling this roster. I am on campus, so it'll be a little bit of a shorter video. Don't have any visuals. So this is just everything's from my mind right now. And uh, yeah, I absolutely love this signing. We needed a safety. Our secondary was very weak after this season. It was weak during the season, but you lose Cameron Curl, which more likely than, you know, or Cameron Curl's a free agent. So he's probably gone now. And then Kendall Fuller is a free agent as well. So now you bring in Jeremy Chin, who is an absolute stud. I mean, out of the, the only players I would want on the Carolina Panthers are those two guys. I mean, obviously there's some other, I mean, I guess, you know, Brian Burns would have been cool or Derek Brown, but those guys, those two on their defense are studs and getting them for what we got them for. I'm just very, very happy. The only thing I don't like about this deal, it's only a one year deal. It's only a one year deal. So it's one year, $5 million or 5.2, a max of 5.2. Again, we don't know what the contract is really until the details come out in the next couple of days. And I'm gonna do a whole kind of breakdown and there's people walking by, uh, but it is what it is. I'm gonna do a whole breakdown of all the contracts when all of them come out and a cap space update for you guys. But $5.2 million for a stud safety who uh, he kind of, he also is like a hybrid linebacker. I remember his rookie year, there was like, debates on who is better him or cam curl or who should he win you know rookie of the year over chase young well he didn't but he's been a stud for the last few years a little bit underused and i think this year he played like 12 games so it was a little bit hurt but he'll come in and be our starting strong safety and then i'm thinking that either derek like derek force could be our free safety because he did play free safety for us for a little bit you could have quan martin competing for that free safety spot but honestly maybe he might be better at slot corner that's what um that's what he was supposed to be coming out of college a lot of people thought he could be and then also you got yeah percy butler Derek forrest and quan martin i think one maybe two of those guys will or yeah probably two of those guys will be starters and this year i know people want to win and that's fine but we were really really bad last year and we're completely overhauling the roster it's going to be hard to win so getting these players developed and seeing who these st these studs are on the team is important so if we can you know see how good Quan martin is and Derek Forrest, see you know and percy butler if any of those guys can be studs they're under contract for a couple more years all of them at least so uh, we can see if they are building blocks of the future but adam peters clearly not very happy with the roster d d didn't love the roster he you know chose this team because of the cap space and the draft picks not because of the roster and earlier they signed Dante Fowler didn't make a video on it probably won't because there's just so many signings I think a solid signing I don't know how much it is for but he's a rotational edge rusher probably will start for us him and F uh, clone Farrell who we also signed also didn't make a video on that because there's so many They'll probably both compete for the starting edge spot and then maybe KJ Henry as well. Uh, the defense is, you know, we didn't sign any like superstars, but we signed a lot of very good players. Like Dorrance Armstrong is a, not, maybe not very good, but a good edge rusher has a chance to be even better as a starter. Dante Fowler is better than what we have on the roster. Clint Farrell, some good depth. And then you bring in Frankie Louvu, best linebacker I think we've had since Lennon Fletcher. That's not saying a lot, but it's still a good signing in my opinion. And I think he has a chance to be a star linebacker in this league. I actually think out of everyone, he has the potential to be the best. And then you bring in, you know, uh, you know Jeremy Chin. So this defense is rounding into form, rounding into shape. We got to bring in, I think, one more corner at least. But we got the draft. Like we have nine picks in the draft. So I would bring in a veteran corner. And then honestly, after that, just chill on the defense because we have so many picks that we can still add to this defense. We can add another edge rusher if, if we want in the draft in the first few rounds. I don't think we need more than one. Uh, I think, you know, we can add a corner. We can add a safety in the draft. We have so much draft capital. And I love that we're, you know, throwing the darts at a bunch of these players. Clint Farrell, boomer bust type player. I talked about that yesterday. One year deal, Jeremy Chin, one year deal, not really boom or bust, but uh, would would have liked a more than a one year deal for him, but I'm sure he wants to ball out because he had not a down year, but he played 12 games, like only like 30, 40 tackles. I think the defensive coordinator there wasn't, uh, what I was seeing is they, you know, he wasn't using him as, you know, much as they should have or as he should have. 
And yeah, so that's something to watch out for. That's probably why his stats were a little bit, you know, lower than normal, but he gets, you know, forced fumbles. He can get to the quarterback and he's a good tackler. Probably the biggest weakness for him is the, is his coverage. You know, it's not amazing, but cause again, he is more of a hybrid between a safety and a linebacker. So that's, you know, where he's going to play probably strong safety. Maybe they'll play him at linebacker, but I, I don't think so. I think they'll most likely play him at uh, strong safety and then have Frankie Luvu at linebacker and then also Jamin Davis at linebacker. And, you know, you got two guys that played together. So that's some good chemistry right there. I like this signing. I'm giving it, I'll give it an A. The only reason it's not an A plus is because it's not a multi-year deal, but, it, you know, it's less risk for them. Uh, they're throwing a lot of darts out there. They're, you know, what I think that's 12 players they signed. They also signed a long snapper. I forgot his name, but something odd from he played for the Seahawks and also played for the Ravens. So that's another guy that they're adding to the squad. And it's a three year deal for him. And yeah, just uh, overhauling this roster, overhauling this roster. And rightfully so, uh, this roster is not, you know, was not good. And it's still not amazing, but it's getting a lot better and you know not all these guys are going to hit you know a couple of years or maybe even in a year we're going to look at some of these guys and be like man they're disappointing but hopefully we look at a lot of them and we're like okay these guys are good building pieces or they added something to the team in the season or it led to a draft pick and a trade or a comp pick or something but yeah that's it for today's video hope you guys did enjoy if you did hit that like button subscribe if you guys are new and there you guys see some of the, you know, Blacksburg's beautiful campus at Virginia Tech. So peace, guys.